All right, Joe. A water rescue on the French Broad. Trying to rescue it. Common for summer, but common this rescue is not. That's the one we want. That's my first car. <laughs> Hopefully my last car pulling out of the French Broad River. Somebody dumped a car in the river. Police say the owner reported it stolen weeks ago. Now it's up to these guys to get it out. That's it. I don't think there's a strategy for pulling cars out of the river. Called the other day, asked me, he said, man, you seen that about that car? It's like, yeah. He said, you game? I said, we'll try. <laughs> Such an unnatural sight naturally draws a crowd. It's only way down there. The 2013 Jaguar poses a risk to people floating down the river and the environment. We did see some oil sheen as we were kind of coming across the river. So I, I don't know how much leaked out. I don't think it was a tremendous amount. Asheville Greenworks and the French Broad Riverkeeper assembled the crew. The rescue operation started at 9 a.m. Yeah, I had a big breakfast, <laughs> for sure. The rescue took hours. <sighs> all right, y'all watch out. Mike Bowman's seen it all in Asheville. But this is also his first time pulling a car out of the river. Bro, yeah, bro. The car wouldn't come easily. Add it to the list of cord cutters. That might be the deal. He knows I like a challenge. The challenges include pulling the car against the current. It's pushing us away from where we need to go, so it's just making everything that much harder. <laughs> Success eventually comes. Sometimes it just takes a diesel effort.